Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel, The Mental Health Diaries, uh, by me Don Vega on YouTube. Um, hope you're all enjoying some of the content and videos. Um, I say enjoy, I hope some of you uh, find some uh, helpful um, resources or information or some inspiration as to how to cope with your mental health. Um, please keep subscribing to the channel and help me grow um, this channel and help me create a community where we can all come and talk about mental health and feel comfortable about that um, and not be scared to talk about it. Um, so um, this channel for me has saved my life or, or part, part has been a massive part of saving my life over the last few months. It's given me purpose. It's given me something to work towards. Um, like I said, I'm not perfect. Um, uh, no human is. Um, we all make mistakes. It's just how we deal with those mistakes and learn from them rather than let them ruin our lives and uh, hold on to those uh, past feelings, um, which is why we struggle with our mental health sometimes because we're holding on to things that have gone and we can no longer affect. Um, I think it can, there comes a time um, in everyone's life when they have to look themselves in the mirror and say, what am I doing wrong? You know, this is my life. I should be taking control of my life. I should be doing this um, and stop blaming other people and putting it on other people and stop um, worrying about what other people are doing in their, in their life. And just focus on yourself and focus on the next day, the next target, uh, the next goal. Because so, um, recently, I, 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 you know, I tried things that I thought I was ready for. Um, and over the last couple of days, um, my mental health has proved that I'm not. Um, had a major setback uh, yesterday, um, trying to uh, trying to um, obviously arrange um, you know uh, benefits that I'm entitled to um, due to my illness, due to my uh, medical evidence that I've sent off, um, and obviously the the situation's dragged out for so long, um, that's caused extra stress um, and added stress to an already uh, ill mind, um, and it, it didn't it didn't end well when I had a conversation with someone on the phone. Um, and uh, they were still telling me that they were waiting for someone to read my paperwork, um, go over my medical evidence that my doctor have sent, that my um, counsellor have sent. Um, they can see all my prescriptions. It's an, it's, it's an, you know, the, the, the companies uh, and the government are an absolute joke um, in this country because all they, all, they, all, they, all they do is assume that people are trying to rip the government off and claim benefits so they can't work. Um, I've... I've worked um, since I was 16, um, I'm now 38, uh, and never had off time work, never signed on for the doll, never. Uh, the one time that I, I have an actual illness, and because it's invisible, it takes months for, uh, to sort benefits out when there's people out there who just get benefits just like that, you know, and they're so fucking patronising, it's unbelievable. Um, and they drove me to a point yesterday where I was telling them on the phone that they're making me want to kill myself. Um, after the conversation ended, they rung my, uh, they directly rung my GP, uh, and my GP rung me to see if they needed, a, a, if I needed a, a critical in intervention and whether I need to be committed. Um, I had to persuade the doctor uh, yesterday on the phone that I was, I, I wasn't that bad. It, it was just that that's how they were making me feel in the moment, um, and I'm doing the best I can on the medication. Um, I'm trying to manage the uh, self harm. I'm trying to not. Ha uh, uh, let myself dwell on my mental health. I'm trying to not let it hold me back, um, but just these 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 processes and procedures that have just been dragging on for about five months now, uh, really really boiled to a point yesterday where I lost uh, I lost it on um, I could have you know I was a step away from being committed yesterday um, and taken into care because um, you know I I just lost it um, and thank God. Um, by the time the GP had rung me, uh, had rung me, I'd calmed down, um, and I was able to speak to him clearly about what happened, and um, obviously he understood from there how how it all came about, how that uh, how me snapping came about, um, but these you know these government type people who just all all they want to do is just accuse people of trying to scam the government uh, just for benefits, um, they're just patronising fucking cunts, and uh, I just couldn't take it anymore. Um, you know, I was speaking to them on the phone and they were asking me questions. They're not even fucking doctors. Um, you know, you've had my fucking medical evidence. Fucking read it. Listen to my counsellor. Listen to my GP. And fucking sign off the benefits because he's entitled to it. Because he's worked for 16 years since he was 16. He's now 38. Never claimed off the government. And the one time that he's got a fucking genuine illness, uh, he, he asked for support and you're fucking dragging it out. Um, 
and you know it's taken five months um to come to a conclusion um for them for them to say yes we're satisfied that you're mentally ill i already know i'm mentally ill uh, my doctor knows i'm mentally ill and so does my therapist uh, so go fuck yourself do your job and give me what i'm entitled to um so hopefully uh, after that incident yesterday it all speeds along uh the process a bit better because they spoke to my doctor as well um and it, yesterday showed me that i'm not i'm not out of the woods um i can get to that place again i i was really scared of myself yesterday when i was that angry i really wanted just to go out there either put my head through a window um punch the wall um i wanted to go and get a knife and just just dig myself just so i could just feel that that pain to take me out of it but no i'd done the right thing um i just ended the phone call went straight to my mum's and um she managed to calm me down and like i said i was a step away yesterday from being committed so mental health um is very serious um and don't let anyone tell you just because they can't see your illness that um you're not you're, you're well um it's your mental illness it's inside you um you know and these fucking bookworms and these pricks who just want to um you know try and find out if you're scamming them and st- they need to they need to realize that they they're receiving information from doctors and from counselors that I am mentally ill um that I am that I am on, that I am suicidal that I am uh, what I say I am um you have all the medical evidence you have the documents you have my sick notes you have everything you need yet you're still dragging it out and adding extra stress onto an already ill me- mental patient um, so I made a point on the phone yesterday saying these calls are recorded. I'm telling you, you're causing me more mental health, more more mental harm um, than good. You're making it worse. You're making me worse. Um, and you know it, it all came to a head yesterday. And I finally, hopefully, I'm going to get a couple, uh, some answers. But um, it just goes to show that I thought I was coming out to a better place, but it's still there. You know that that scary side of me where I can go and do things that uh, to myself that uh, um that are that are, that are hurtful towards myself but um I have no fear of um I I you know I'm I'm not comfortable when I'm in that place I'm not in control when I'm in that place um and I just thank the lord that yesterday I decided to go to, straight to my mum instead of going out uh, and doing something to myself that could have injured me or got got me got me committed and put put away um, for however long in a mental hospital um, because that's the last thing I want if I if I need it to save my life then I will have to do that but um, you know um, I, I, I want to avoid that at all costs I want to try and get better um, and you know these the government just needs to really look at uh, mental health cases. They're serious. You can't um, doubt people. You can't ask people questions. You can't uh, want want to assess their situation when you've had you. Who are you to assess in a situation when the fucking GP and the fucking counselor have told you he's mentally ill? You're gonna cause you're gonna cause people more fucking damage. Uh, it's, it's an absolute fucking joke when you think about it. Um, you got all these people who just live on the dole, all these fucking crackheads who live on the dole. You know, they get up to sign on. You know, I, I've, all, I've worked all my fucking life and I've worked hard as well. Um, and I've got to a senior management level uh, in retail uh, and managed uh, stores for, for big companies. So I've never been off ill. And the one time I have a genuine illness with proven medical evidence, you want to drag it out and make me feel worse about myself and doubt me and question me and ask me questions on the phone when you're not even a doctor or a therapist. No, go fuck yourself. Do your job and fucking sort out the benefits that I'm fucking entitled to and stop making my mental health worse. Um, and this is the DWP, by the way. Um, so I, I made a point of uh, saying the calls were recorded um, and this is what you're doing to me. Um, and if, it, if I still don't get the support, um, I've got um, therapy... On Thursday, um, I'm going to speak to my therapist and I'm going to get her to push it as well. Um, and it, it, if, st- if they still treat me like uh, uh, like the way they have been, then I'll go to the local MP and, and, and the papers because this is not on. They have genuine evidence, medical evidence, from a doctor and a psychiatrist stating that I'm mentally ill and they still want to assess and ask me questions when they're not even fucking doctors. It's an absolute fucking shit show of a, of a system and they need to fucking sort it out. 
um, because they're making pe people like me, um, they're playing with my life um, and putting it on the line. My life is on the line, not theirs. Who are they to fucking question? My doctor and my therapist. Um, so I just wanted to um, let you guys know what's going on. And if you're going through these sort of things because you're off work, because you're mentally ill, keep pushing. They don't, they, 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 they're not entitled to treat you like this. Uh, that's what we have doctors for. That's, that's what we have therapists for. Stay in regular contact. Keep pushing them. They have the evidence that, uh, that I, everything they asked me for, I supplied them. I supplied them with and so did my th therapist and so did my doctor. Um, so I'm expect I, you know, I demanded an answer um, because, you know, I told them on the phone that they, they were going to be the reason that I killed myself, um, which is why they had duty of care. They put, you know, the, the phone call ended. They rung my doctor's surgery immediately. And then that's when I had the intervention call. Um, not long after, um, but I was lucky that um, I took the right option um, instead of self-harming and putting myself in a position where the doctor answered and I'd already self-harmed, I would have been committed. But because I went to my mum's, calmed down, talked it over with my mum, I sort of I was able to talk through the situation clearly with the doctor um, and he understood why that situation occurred. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, it's just shocking, you know, how some people can, how some people can, can get benefits, um, you know, just like that. Um, and for someone who's worked all his life, um, who's never, who's never been on the dole or anything, the one time I have a genuine illness, um, that no one can see, um, I get questioned and assessed by people who are not even my doctor or my, uh, counsellor. Uh, it's an absolute fucking joke. Um, you, you should be ashamed of yourselves, uh, the, the Department of Working Pensions I'm talking about, you need to be, you, you should be ashamed of yourselves. It's an absolute disgrace how you treat people and how, how you make them wait for stuff they're entitled to when you've had medical evidence. Who the fuck are you to assess them when you've had the medical evidence that you've, that you've asked for? What gives you the right to question their illness uh, just because you can't see it? Um, so pull your head out your ass, um, do your fucking job and listen to the medical professionals who are telling you that I'm genuinely mentally ill. Um, and so it was a massive setback for me in my depression. Um, I had a really bad night yesterday. Uh, yesterday, very anxious, very low. Um, but I, had, I, I had great support um, from someone who really supports me yesterday, um, as well as my family. Um, managed to help me and calm me down and um, got me to a place where I was calm enough to talk through situations rather than get angry about them so um i don't need to be she, she knows who she is um i don't need to be um you know shouting names out um i thank everyone for their support and understanding my illness at the moment unfortunately um i can't give you know certain people um you know what they want because for me uh, tomorrow isn't promised um yesterday i could have killed myself uh, i and i was in the mindset that I was going to uh, after that phone call. So I had a massive setback. I'm quite disappointed because I thought I'd come a long way through therapy, but obviously I haven't. I have a long way to go, and this mental health journey is going to be um, very, very long and uh, very tiresome for me and very uh, painful, uh, very upsetting, heartbreaking. But I know one day I will get there, um, and one day I will be me again. Um, but I, 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 wanna, I, wanna, I want support from... Uh, a community i want to come and speak to you guys i want to you know be able to talk about situations be talk and, and not be shy to talk about it i'm not ashamed that i suffer mental health i'm not ashamed that uh have suicidal tendencies i'm not ashamed that that's how i feel in my head i'm not ashamed that my body wants to keep trying but my mind wants to die that is what i'm going through at the moment i can't help it um it is what it is um, and uh, you know, I, I, I have that attitude. It, this is what my life is at the moment. I can all I can do is take one day at a time, try to get stronger, try to move forward, and try to put things in place where um, I can follow a structure and get to a better place. Um, and these people who you know, the department work in pensions and um, those sort of people who just l l love to investigate people because um, just to make sure they're not scamming people. Uh, out of benefits you want to take like a, take a closer look at yourselves and 
realize that uh, the people who uh, who just live on the dole, who are at your job centers every fucking day, um, they're the people that you need to be looking at, not the people that, who have worked for 18 years, paying taxes, paying national insurance, um, you, your government taking all that money off me for 18 years, and the one time that I'm genuinely ill, um, you make me feel like um, that I'm trying to con someone, that I'm, I'm in the wrong. Uh, uh, you made me feel like I'm investigated. You make me feel like I've done something criminally wrong. Um, and that, that is fucking disgraceful. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Department of Work and Pensions, um, Welsh Government, need to take, uh, take a look at yourself and look at your processes because you can't treat people with mental health like that. You could cost them their lives. Um, so pull your head out your ass. Do your fucking jobs properly. If the doctors say they're entitled to it, then they're fucking entitled to it. Um, don't put me in that position again. You've, I've gone on record saying my calls were recorded and you are going to make me uh, do something to myself that I don't want to do because of the added stress and pressure, which I shouldn't be under because I should have the support that I'm entitled to um, as per what my doctor have said and what my therapist have said. You are making my mental health worse. You fucking li lying, untrusting bunch of fucking pricks. And uh, I hate you for what you did to me yesterday. I hate you for uh, how you made me feel yesterday. I hate you for how you uh, how you made me react yesterday. Uh, and I won't be letting this slide. I will be contacting um, my, my local MP uh, about how I, uh, the, the situation has treated me and how it's made me feel and almost cost me my life. Um... Because the added, this has been going on for fucking five months. Evidence after evidence has been sent off. It's like a fucking... I feel like I'm, I'm under investigation from the police or something. It's an absolute fucking disgrace how they make people feel. Um, and um, I, I suffer with mental health. I'm a mental health sufferer. Um, I'm, I have suicidal tendencies. It's been medically proved um, by my doctors, by my, um, by my therapist... Uh, and you want to treat me like that on the phone and ask me sh fucking questions that you're not even qualified to ask me. It's an absolute fucking disgrace. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Uh, and you need to take a long, hard look at yourselves and, and the processes about how you treat people with human beings. You cannot play with our lives like that. Um, and it had a massive bad impact on my mental health. Um, so, like I said, um, if I didn't have my family and certain people in my life supporting me... Um, then I, like I said, I wouldn't be here. So I owe them, I owe it to them to keep fighting and I owe it to myself to keep fighting. Um, but I won't be treated like that by anyone. Um, I won't be, uh, you know, I've got nothing to lose. Um, so, like, I'm scared of nothing. You know, I want to die myself. So, you know, what, what what's for there for me to be scared of? You know, I'm, I'm not scared of anything. Um, I'm scared of myself sometimes, but that's the only thing because I'm scared of what I can do to myself. But I'm not scared of anything. I'm not. I'm not scared of people. I'm not scared of. Oh, I'm not scared or embarrassed that I'm ill. Um, I'm not scared or embarrassed uh, to say that I am. Um, and if someone's got an issue with it, uh, like I, you know, go fuck yourself. Focus on your own life. Don't be bitter and twisted about other people's lives and what they're doing. Focus on yourself and live your own life, because that's no way to live. Um, and I've learned that, and I'm going through that. Um, so the Department of Working Pensions, go fuck yourselves and do your fucking job. The Welsh Government, um, you need to look at these companies and how they're treating people, because it will cost someone their life one day, them and their processes and how they investigate and assess people. It's an absolute fucking disgrace. You fucking lying bunch of cunts. And I, I'm not having it. Uh, I'm, I won't be treated like that. And also, um, I will be contacting my local MP about how, how I've been treated and how they almost got me fucking committed to a mental hospital yesterday. Absolute fucking shit show that they're running. And it's an absolute fucking disgrace that they treat people with mental health like that. Um, so, uh, to, the D, to the DWP uh, and those people, the job centre people, go fuck yourselves. Because um, you won't be treating me like that ever again and making me feel the way you made me feel yesterday. Um, because it really set me back and it could have cost me my life. I'm here today because of certain people in my life. Um, no thanks to you. Um, all I'm asking for is the support that I'm entitled to after 18 years of paying taxes and national insurance. Um, 
with proven medical evidence, you, you made me feel like I was a criminal yesterday. It's an absolute disgrace. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Um, my mental health. I thought I was getting to a place where I'm learning. I'm learning a lot about it, and I know how to cope with things. Yesterday and so and anxiety attacks recently have shown me that I'm still not there yet. I've got a lot of work to do, and I've got a lot of effort to put in. Uh, and I'm willing to do the work. I'm willing to put the groundwork in, and I'm willing to do the effort. Um, I'm willing to put all my focus and work into this channel, into growing it and and growing an audience where we can interact one day. Um, but I'm not negative people i don't need that in my life um people who live in the past i don't need uh, and uh who just want to focus on who i might have been uh 10 10 years ago or whatever i don't need that in my life um that's my past i don't live there anymore um i don't want to be reminded of it i don't need to be reminded of it um focus on your own fucking life and stop being bitter and twisted because it, it, it's just no way to live um what 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 why be bitter and twisted about about uh, about past events things happen in life we're human beings everyone makes mistakes and everyone has done some done done things in their life they're not proud of um and i'm certainly no different um but i'm man enough to to own up to my mistakes admit that i need to change and I, and i'm man enough to admit that i need help um and that takes strength that some people don't even have um so like I said, I don't need negativity in my life. You know, all that will be ignored. Um, I won't be treated like that. I will let no one treat me like that. My family will let no one treat me like that. Um, and I will get what I deserve because um, I've given this government uh, 18 years of hard work and paying taxes. And the one time that I, that I mail, genuinely... Um, you, you made me feel like the way you made me feel yesterday. Absolute disgraceful. Um, and uh, if I've ever made anyone feel like that in the past, uh, that, then uh, I all wholeheartedly apologise. But like I said, the past is the past. I can't do anything about it. Uh, I'm going through this at the moment. It's shit. This is my life. It's hard every single day. But I'm here. I'm pushing forward. Um, I've created this channel. Um I've also done little, little 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 bits and pieces around things that I'm passionate about, boxing and football and, and stuff like that. But my main goal is the Mental Health Diaries. This channel is a place where um, I want to change my life and other people's lives and have an impact that's only positive, not negative. Um, if you want to be negative, just jog on and find somewhere else to be negative because uh, my, my life hasn't got time for it. Um, uh, I'm not scared of anything. I'm not scared of anyone. I'm not scared of uh, life. I've been I've been at rock bottom and lower, um, and uh, to the point of death. So I'm not, you know, I've got nothing to fear um, from anyone or anything. Um, and I will speak up my mind, and I will speak up on things that I have an opinion about because I'm entitled to an opinion just as everyone else is. Um, I no one has to agree with anyone's opinions. But welcome to the world of opinion. Everyone has their own and everyone is entitled to have their own thoughts and feelings about something. Uh, but never let anyone treat you uh, like that. Never let anyone make you feel like that because it, it's not it's not right. Um, and if if we've done, done that in the past to other people, then we need to um, accept our wrongs uh, and move on and try to be a better person each day. Um, so going forward, um, like I said, I'll create, create, keep creating videos around mental health and um, keep updating you on my mental health and uh, you know and there's only so many things I can do and so many videos that I can put up until you know um, I can have an audience where I can actually go live and we can be interactive. That's when the channel will grow more. So this is where I need your help in subscribing to the channel, um, letting other people know about the mental health diaries. So they can subscribe to the channel, so they can listen, so they can uh, uh, give, um, they can give, uh, they can have their opinions, they can have, um, they can make some notes, they can take some inspiration, they can uh, relate to some of the things that I'm going through. And once that community is there and the subscriber base is there, we can have interactive chats and go live and speak about mental health because there's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, and don't let anyone make you feel ashamed if you are suffering from mental health. 
stick up for yourself, fight for yourself. Um, I'm fighting every day for myself. Um, like I said, my body want, wants to keep going. My mind is giving up, it's dying. Um, but I'm, my body is winning at the moment. It's, it's overcoming my mind. I'm still here. I'm here because of certain people in my life. Um, so to all, all the people who, who just want to be bitter, twisted and negative, go fuck yourself um, and just grow up. You know, grow up, move on um, and focus on what you do, what makes you happy and what makes your family happy. Don't worry about a- a- anyone else anymore. It's, it, it's, it's consuming just to even think about other people. We're born to live our life and have our journey. Who cares what other people are doing and how their journeys are? Um, if people have success, they should be congratulated um, because they've worked for that success. If people have negative um, um, things in their life, then they should be supported uh, and, and, and be there for because it's, that's not their fault either. That's their journey that they're going through. So um, I just wanna, wanted to get that off my chest yesterday, how they made me feel, um, how that department made me feel, um, how it almost cost me being committed into a mental hospital yesterday. Um, because I was, I I was this close, um, to being picked up by the white coach yesterday and fucking locked up and put somewhere I don't know where, um, all because they made me feel like that, um, good for nothing cunts, um, and uh, I've got nothing nice to say about any of the people that I've dealt with, um. Whether it be DWP, Universal Credit, um, Employment Support Allowance, all make you feel like you're a criminal. It's an absolute fucking disgrace how they make people feel and how they question and dictate to people with, with hidden illnesses that, you know, are you, in t- uh, you know, you, you genuine? It's an absolute disgrace. Um, and I'm I'm just lucky. I made the I made I made a good choice yesterday by leaving my house and going straight to straight to family, uh, because um, I could have either been dead or taken away, um, and um, that's not what I want, and that's not what I want for my family either. So, um, yeah, hopefully after after the last couple of days, everything will be sorted soon, um, and I can get back on track. Um, Please keep helping uh, the channel. Please keep subscribing to the channel. Um, the Mental Health Diaries on YouTube. Um, keep spreading the word. Uh, smash a like on the videos. Um, share it on your socials. Um, because the more people that watch it, the more awareness we can create. Uh, and the more um, traffic that a channel will get. And like I say, when we have a big enough audience, we can go live. And we can interact and we can have actual conversations about mental health as well. Um, and I think that'll be amazing to hear all your stories um, and your personal experiences. That's something I'd love to do um, uh, and obviously tell you about mine as well and get, you know, um, converse about how you cope with yours, how I cope with mine. And I think that would be amazing to hear people talking about their mental health in a community where we can all feel safe. Um, so keep subscribing to the channel, The Mental Health Diaries on YouTube. Check it out. Um, have a great week. Like I said, stick up for yourself, stand up for yourself, um, live for the moment, stay in the moment, take one day at a time um, and focus on yourself um, because ultimately it's our journey, no one else's. Um, if it's not what you want and you currently can't give people what they want, then that's tough. They've got their own decisions to make about how they move forward with their own life. For me, tomorrow is not promised. I've come close a few times now over the last few months to not being here. Um, and and every day I get up and wake up at the moment is a blessing um, so for me my life is one day at a time for everyone else you you make your own decisions on your life and what you what you want what you want to do what commitments you want what relationships you want what jobs you want whatever you focus on your journey my journey is this battle through mental health uh, and that, that is the only journey that I'm on that is that has my hundred percent focus um, other than being a dad, because my son is amazing, to, uh, and um, he's, the, he's my greatest creation. Um, he is um, he embodies everything that I've 
that I, I would strive to be. Um, and I'm so proud uh, that he's my son. Um, and one day I know he's gonna make he's gonna make his mark on this world, and everyone else will be able to see um, such an uh, an amazing human being that he is. Um, so uh, to my son Kai, I love you. Um, I'll see you soon. To everyone else, um, have a great week. Uh, be kind, uh, because if we can be anything in this world, why not be kind to other people? Um, admit your own mistakes. Be strong enough to look at yourself in the mirror and say, yeah, I need to change. Um, but the past is gone. Don't focus on that. Be who you want to be. Be who, whoever you want to be going forward. You just you just have to be that person. So, um, you know, it's easier said than then, I know, because I'm going through it now. But, um, you know, being positive and staying positive is, is the only way forward. Um, and be kind um cherish your loved ones look after your friends keep subscribing to the channel the mental health diaries on youtube check it out uh, share it on your socials as well uh and i'll speak to you all soon bye